Well, this is one of the largest airplanes that I've ever owned and flown, especially foam on the channel. And uh, actually, it will be. Right now it's about a meter or so, and it's supposed to be 2.1 meters. This is the 2.1 meter, not currently. I wanna show you guys how easy the wing is to put on. Carbon ZSS, 2.1. Uh, it is big, and the assembly of this was more steps than I'm used to. It actually took me quite a while to assemble, uh, and we'll see if that's a good thing or a bad thing. I got to put all the major nuts and bolts on, including uh, mounting the motor. Sometimes that's a good thing for you to do it yourself, and other times, well, if you're not skilled and don't know what you're doing, it may explode in the air. So this should be a great video either way because this is a giant beauty with really robust, awesome landing gear. The wing struts, the wings themselves are just massive, bright orange. We're running out of daylight, so I really just wanna get this thing in the air pretty quickly, but we will be flying on a 6S. I think it's capable of holding a 4,000 or maybe 3,200 milliamp up to a 7,000 milliamp battery, and I'll be flying on 5,000 milliamp batteries today. And I did choose to put the optional wing slats on. Let's, uh, let's put this wing on and fly. Like most planes, two little thumb screws. Now this is pretty interesting. These are the antenna. They just snap on to your thumb screw. So that's kind of neat. Thank goodness this is a nice bright orange airplane because we are losing our daylight. Our days are getting shorter and shorter and it's getting harder to find time to fly. Now I'm guessing this plane won't need much runway to take off and we certainly don't need any flaps. So let's see what we can do right around here. Nice. <laughs> I like a big, gentle, giant airplane like this. Oh, it's awesome. Totally a maiden. I still need to trim some stuff up. Uh, but I just feel really comfortable with a big plane like this. I've really been enjoying larger planes a lot more. Something this style too, this Carbon Cub style, is just very tame. It's nice and easy to see. Fairly predictable. I do have... 25% expo on all of my control surfaces, except for my rudder, I went with 20. They just tend to fly fairly predictably. Big, big airplane like this, and a lot of people think that big airplanes are harder to fly, they're scary, and the only scary thing about them is really the price tag, but this airplane, for as big as it is, right around $500, really isn't that bad for such a big, giant airplane. They make much smaller things that are way more expensive. So to come in at 500 bucks to fly something this huge, I think is pretty cool. Um, and man, that assembly experience just, you know, I learned a lot with it. It was, uh, it was nice. It's nice to know that I kind of did all of the, all of it for the most part. I mean, even, even mounting the motor which doesn't normally happen on foam models. This is flying really well, just like I had hoped. Yeah. <laughs> I was getting worried we weren't gonna get a flight in today, Abby. It was getting kind of close. I've been working on this plane a couple days now with a lot of distractions. Now let's get into inverted flight. The best way to do that is to bring it up from a loop like that and then hold it inverted. If it's a slower rolling plane, you don't tend to want to roll into inverted flight. Getting inverted from a loop like that is much easier. And we're just holding a little bit of up elevator. We'll do an outside loop out here. A little throttle, push down on that. Oh yeah, that's great. That's nice. Let's see if we can do any kind of a flat spin. We're gonna really need to get the altitude on it. See what the vertical climb is like anyway. Level off and can do it. 
All right, not great. That wasn't the prettiest flat spin, but the best at doing it. Try one more time, and we'll try to do one of Abby's favorite maneuvers out here. See if we can do it a little bit on the inverted side. If we can get into it fast enough. There we go. And not enough um, confidence in a maiden flight to <laughs> let that fall any farther. We're going to go full flaps. Oh, that's a lot of lift, so cancel that. That was too much lift. I need to mix elevator into that. That was a lot of lift on those flaps. We might do a half flap pass and see what that feels like. But after we get out of the bank here, after we get out of the bank, we'll kick half flaps on and see what that feels like. That's okay. Half flaps feels pretty good. And just get a nice slow pass. This is a cool plane, Abby. You're at about four minutes. Well, can it snap and then can it cube an eight, right? That's what we want to know. Let's get it out here, throttle, and try to snap it right around here. Pretty good giant snap. That was not bad at all. And maybe we can bring that right into a cube and eight. Really not a good cube and eight. I wanted more altitude for that rollout on the back side because my roll rate's just a little slow. So yeah, see that? I didn't want to hold inverted too long on this. On the back end of the Cuban 8, right? Gotta be able to roll out of that. So plan ahead on your Cuban 8, know your roll rate before you get into one. Let's maybe try a little touch and go on the runway here. Coming in fast. A little, almost a bounce and go, but it's pretty smooth. It wasn't too bad. Try it this way too. Yeah, Abby's helping keep track of time. I think we actually have telemetry on this, but I'm not 100% sure. Yeah, you're at five minutes. Um, I'm pretty confident we do, but it's always better to be safe than sorry. Mm -hmm. Ah, I touched one wheel. I was hoping to hold it down a little longer. Yeah. <laughs> I'll bet I could land in this tall grass today, too, with this plane. We're losing our daylight, Abby. We were hoping to do some chase shots, but I don't know. Uh, ah, we happen. can. That was fun. If you didn't know any better, you'd think this was just a big, giant, full-scale airplane. <laughs> yeah. I can see logging some hours on this. I mean, this flies exactly like I hoped it would. Six minutes. All right, we'll, uh, we'll get ready for a landing. Bring it around out here. We'll put the flaps on and actually come in for a landing out here. We'll check and see what the telemetry says because, as I said, I'm pretty sure this is an updated version that does have it. So, get those flaps nose down hard, just trying to get it down in front of us. A little bit of throttle here, not much, just don't want to stall. A little hop, but that's okay. That was a pretty nice landing. Those landing gear shocks are uh, i'll have to show you a little closer but they actually do flex out pretty well and yeah that was a nice maiden flight of a very gentle giant fairly sporty flyer uh but yeah if you've never flown a big airplane i highly recommend you check one out especially this one i had a little moment of doubt but it does have telemetry you know it's always better safe than sorry uh, I was like 90% sure it did. We're at 3.86 volts per cell. That means we could have flown for at least, at least two more minutes and been pretty good. This is an awesome plane, but here, I want you guys to see how big this actually is. And I'm holding it. Remember, I'm 6'4". That was hard to get out of the house without banging into every corner because it's so big. And that was with one wing half off. So this is bigger than me. <laughs> Show the fuselage like yeah. that. I mean, it's it's go up and down with the fuselage. Yeah, there you go. Pretty it's big a very too. big airplane, Abby, and it's amazing when it's in the air. Sometimes it just doesn't feel that big. it does, but like it doesn't feel this big. It's a giant airplane, and I think they did it really, really well. I'm happy with it. I'm impressed with it. 
I highly encourage you guys to check out a giant airplane, a big airplane, and fly them, and just compare it to something small like a UMX. UMX flies big for what they are, but still just doesn't compare to an actual big airplane. So we'll have a link in the description box below, and using that link does help to support our channel and our family if you click it and pull it up. It doesn't cost you a single extra penny, and it's a great way to say thanks for making this free content. If you had fun while you were here or learned something while you were here. Or um, pay for Nate's haircut. I do need a haircut, pretty bad. <laughs> I actually cut his hair. <laughs> That's why it looks the way it does. <laughs> <laughs> now, before it gets completely dark, I want to say a massive thanks to God for blessing us with this beautiful day and the opportunity to get in front of the camera and share this experience with you guys. Finally, a massive thanks to our Patreon supporters because without you guys, we couldn't do what we do as often as we do it. Now, if you're into big airplanes, we will have another big airplane video popping up right about now just for you. Thanks for watching. We'll see you there. Bye.